When you say stay in 30 seconds, does that count for the swim? Yeah, you can count for this one. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning, JV. I slept as long as the girls did. I slept 11 hours. I sleep strong. I one hour. You slept one hour? Oh, wow. That's not that much. I took um, a NyQuil tablet. My throat, can you guys hear that? I feel better, like it doesn't hurt. But Benji left this morning. Just taking a stroll, my friend, Austin. What up? And we're in Vancouver, BC. Yep, we're about to ride on this bad boy. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hey, Malcolm, do you mind being on my blog? Uh, no, I guess not. How's it going? You guys are all buckled in. Yeah, six emergency exits in this airplane. So you got the four doors all the way around. Okay, who wants cherries? One, two, sit at the table, please. What do you say to mommy? We're here, Wilderness Resort. I'm like super early. It's so beautiful out here. Time to try this new face mask. Dang, this thing is heavy. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove with water. This is like the new pure clay mask from L'Oreal. So it already smells good because eucalyptus smells lovely. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo! That is cold. This was really nice. I need to do this as my girlfriend, so I just do a spa day. Be a movie. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, it's tingling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the burn. But I like it, I like the burn. You know what, there's not that much in here. Yeah, there's not that much product in here. Let's see how much it retails for. I have the paper in my makeup room. $13! Wow, that's actually quite affordable. Guys, I'm gonna keep this mask on while I finish editing. I'm here at a possible. retreat, International Tribe Design. I went to one of their retreats in Kauai where I first met with them at, a, at one of their events called uh, a Rob Ross Retreat. Yes. And uh, I just had to come because it is in my backyard, kind of, northwest. Anything you guys want to say to the vlog? Well, I was thinking one thing that I love about Benji is that um, he, listen, he listens to what we're saying and then he takes what he believes, in my imagination, he takes what he believes is the best of all our experiments and then he experiments with them. And I've loved his results because seeing Benji as time progresses, I made the joke today that there seems to be a curious case of him getting younger and younger mm. and more vibrant the more we know him mm. even though his age is getting higher mm. I'm honored that you would say that because actually that's exactly what I do you guys I've learned so much from these two and including your brother Nathaniel uh, about health what different ways to think and even just life in general I think one of the things I've learned from you guys that number one thing I can take away not letting dogma mm you know, like run your life, right? Mm. One of the most powerful stories was the one about you guys not eating your family's food like at like some family gathering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually a great story, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I remember when I first uh, fed these two, uh, I was worried about what they were gonna, uh, 
say or think about the food I cooked, and they were like, no, no, like, if it's cooked with love, right? I'll take, I'll take that ingredient. That seems to be the healthiest ingredient for and me. If it's cooked with love and you love eating it. Yeah, oh, that's important. Oh man, if you, my, from my understanding of food, if we're going to get on that subject, it seems as a lot of people, what they believe about the food they're eating seems to be true. And I see a lot of people like eating mm. a healthy diet thinking like, this kale is not organic enough. Yeah. And I'm like, well, they don't think that food is healthy. And I don't know if it is healthy if they don't think it is. I'm going to be vlogging this experience. Uh, we've got low uh, internet connectivity here, so I'll try to keep them short, honey, okay? This is the last long vlog. <laughs> we do get to take Clip. Benji on a new a new health practice. Uh, apparently, he hasn't partaken before. I have before, not yet. Which is polar Only, plunging. Oh, polar plunging. Mm. So that's why I'm here in the hot tub with these two guys. Looks like amazing. Everything. Is that a yam? Is that a yam? Yeah, it's a uh, and kale. A sweet potato. It looks like we got. Are these local gardens? I mean, local no, greens from the no, garden no, here. But it is Let's pretend kale. they. Which is I'm gonna go. Wow. And this is some duck fillet. Duck, duck. Yeah, wow. duck breast fillet. I guess we'll call wow. it. Wow. It's been about 30 minutes, and this is dry as heck. But for some reason, I think I put too much here. Okay, let's go wash this. <laughs> refreshing and it smells so good one of the things that I was looking forward to doing with these guys is polar plunging as you can see by the shaking of the camera or more to cold because we just got out of that lukewarm tub what yeah. does polar plunging do for you yeah I could give like a lot of scientific uh, scientific explanations about how it's like there's this hunter's reflex where all your blood rushes to the extremities and then it rushes back into the organs depending uh -huh. on how long you stay in there uh -huh. and there's a whole movement uh, with Wim Hof he's getting people to do this as like fighting colds so, like, for me uh -huh. on a metaphorical level uh -huh. it's practicing fighting a cold. How cold do you think that water is? I would say it's about 60. 60? Which uh, most people over exaggerate water. 60 yeah. degree water is cold. Yeah. Especially in a cold climate like this, especially when you're already cold. And the key here, in my opinion, is to get stay in about a minute, come back out for a minute, and go back in a minute, and you'll get a, not, a lot of good lymph and blood pumping without even having to run far. Benji's in for oh his first polar plunge. Hey, when you say stay in 30 seconds, does that count for the swim? Yeah, you can count for the swim. I think a good minute in there, a good minute outside of it. You want me to film oh, the whole you thing? You can get your head under it. Yeah, That's you want it. Should I get it in like as I'm jumping in or when I'm in and then go in? Both. Both. We want to get that pineal gland nice and purified because we're in the presence of awakening with JP. Here we go. Okay. This is going to be Benji's newest health practice. He's in, ten years from now, he's going to look ten years younger, and he's going to be like it all started. It all started right here at the Wilderness Retreat Center. <laughs> it's, it's a little different than Hawaii. It's clean, huh? Huh? Watch that, the back of the boat there, and I think you'll be good. <laughs> Three, two, one. I am just so grateful, maybe even more than grateful, I'm blessed to have a husband that loves food and loves to go grocery shopping. It's not fun for me. It's a chore if anything. Like I like doing laundry and folding clothes. I would prefer that to grocery shopping. Of course, the organic avocados nobody wants to buy. Look, they're all like overripe. Come on. Wait, that snap. This actually might work. Tomorrow they'll be perfect. Yum, nectarines. What the girls have been loving. I walked out with a little more than I expected. I was hoping to just fill this bag, but I got three extra bags. At least we're set for the week. Walmart has stepped up their game with groceries. Their organic section is getting bigger and bigger. I mean, they don't have a specific organic section, but they have like a lot of organic options. 
A little salmon with a little salad. One thing that Oz and I decided to do was skip all forms of eating and drinking <laughs> to get here. And, uh, it was a hard journey. JP was nice enough to offer us some scraps, you know, just whatever was laying around, I guess. That's actually how you rewire people's taste buds. Is you feed them a healthy meal when uh -huh. they're extremely hungry, and all of a sudden they have a new appreciation for healthier foods. <laughs> that is a great tip. Like, did you just come up with that, or did no. you? Uh, well, I've known that for ever since I started doing like a day water fast. Mm -hmm. Whatever food I I eat afterwards is I have a new appreciation for it. Mm -hmm. I would show you guys some of the cute stuff. Okay, first of all, got more of the vitamins. I didn't have the big size, but Mia's gonna be so excited because there are orange gummies and she only picks the orange ones. She's been picking the red ones because she can't tell. I don't think she could tell that there's no more orange, so she just gets a lighter color. So she's gonna be so excited to see that. I got some peanut butter because we never eat peanut butter in this house and it's so sad. Mel had to bring her own peanut butter from her place to our house. The last time I was obsessed with peanut butter was when I was pregnant with Juliana. I used to do peanut butter and banana sandwiches all the time. Tell me this is not the cutest ever. I'm gonna make this with the girls. They're just gonna go nuts. Hello Kitty cookies. And this is like, it's Betty Crocker. They had like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. They had SpongeBob. And I knew the girls would go crazy. What else is fun here? Um, oh, okay. So these flower lipsticks. These are long wear lip creams. I don't think this is new or anything, but it's the first time I saw them. So I want to try these out. Somebody tweeted me about these. Um, oh, the CoverGirl Clean Matte. So this is fairly new. I think it's just a few weeks old. So I thought I would do a first impression on these. This is a L'Oreal Pro Glow 24 hour wear. That's crazy. Look, organic chicken breast. What? So I'm gonna whip up something before the girls come home. Mel took them to watch Finding Dory, which I'm a little sad because I really want to see that movie but I'm sure they're having fun anyways. Just look who just came home. How was the movie? It was good. It was good. Did they all enjoy oh the movie? God. They did. The whole time? I mean, it got a little way to do the end. They were good. Let's go wash our hands first. Somebody needs to take off their shoes. <laughs> Laundry time. Yeah, yeah. What can I help you with? You can't find Cinderella? Yeah. Okay, let's go find her. Come on. Cinderella, Cinderella, where are you? Where are you? I wonder where Cinderella is. <laughs> Okay, go give it to Kira. They had two servings of mac and cheese, Mama. mango. They each had their own apricot. Mama, <laughs> have mine. Look at my yes. Mine. yes, you can have yours. Mama. You know what? There's no cookie tonight because it's so much. I was gonna film a Q and A. I have some questions already on my Snapchat that I haven't opened yet, but I didn't get around to it. So I'll probably film that tomorrow. So I'm loading our blue apron for this week. That, ooh, this is how fancy they are packaging the produce and make sure it's extra safe in there. I saw on the news the shooting that was happening in Texas.
it's just heartbreaking that things like this is still happening in 2016. Daddy. Seriously, just hearing about it just makes me want to hug my kids and love them. <laughs> okay, can you guys stand close together but without hurting each other? Okay, ready? One, hey. One, two, three. Go over there. Let me take a picture. You guys. Okay. Can I take a picture? Go stand. Okay. Ready? Everyone stop fighting. Just stand on the wall. Okay. Ready?